Paddings and margins are adjusted within any element, row, column or block. For the block, you will only have the option to adjust the padding. For block, settings and more settings and over here the padding. Padding can be linked or they can be adjusted individually. For columns, rows and elements, you have the option to adjust both padding and margins. Let's put the element within this column. I'll bring an image. And then let's select an image for this. Let's select the column next and give it a background. The white border that you see now isn't the border, but it is the background of the column. If I click on the image and I delete it, you will see the entire column is white. I'm going to undo that with command control Z. Let's go have a look at the column. Settings, more settings, and then here we'll see again padding and margins. Currently the padding is set at 5 pixels to the top, 15 to the right, 5 to the bottom and 15 to the left. You have the option to adjust it within pixels or you can click here to set it to percentages. Let's put it back on pixels. If you want to apply padding uniformly, you click here on the option to link all the sides and then you can again choose between pixels and percentage. The reason why you see more space at the top is because this image actually has some margins applied. Let's go over and click on the image, settings, more settings, and then you will see padding zero, but we have margins 10 pixels at the top and 10 pixels at the bottom. Let's link them all together, and now you have that uniform look. For margins, you have the option to go positive, that will apply more padding or you can drag it to the left and go into the negatives and it will stretch beyond the borders. This can be done for any element, row or column. For more insights and news on Brizzy, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out the Facebook community, subscribe to the newsletter, keep up to date on the webinars and visit us at brizzy.io.